In today's video on the history of sport, we will be considering the question, could Mick Schumacher be as dominant as his father? Just before I see it in the comments, I do recognise that it will be near impossible for Mick Schumacher to achieve what his father Michael did during his time in Formula 1. However, I do believe it will be possible for him to be as dominant as Michael was during his time at Ferrari. Just before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that I know my last video was about as popular as the 2005 US Grand Prix, however I made it to start a conversation. With that in mind, I also know that it was popular with some Michael Schumacher fans, so I decided to make this video. Throughout his career, Michael Schumacher achieved an incredible 91 wins, 155 podiums and 7 world drivers titles. Michael Schumacher also achieved an astonishing 30% win rate, which would have been even higher had he not returned to Formula 1 with Mercedes in 2010. Not only that, it's not just Michael who's brought the Schumacher name success in Formula 1, with his brother Ralph achieving 6 wins and 27 podiums. Now let's take a look at Mick Schumacher's junior career. Mick Schumacher began his karting career in 2011 in the ADAC Kart Masters, where he competed in the KF3 class and he finished 9th in the championship. Mick Schumacher also competed in other karting championships that year with the best finish of 3rd in the Winter Euro Cup KF3 series. Overall, Mick Schumacher's karting career was relatively successful, with a best finish of second in both the European Karting Championship and the World Karting Championship. Although Mick Schumacher competed under the name Mick Jr., the world press soon noticed his successes and his career started gaining momentum. Mick Schumacher began his single-seater career in 2015, driving in the ADAC Formula 4 Championship and racing for Van Amersfoort Racing. He was up against fellow F1 driver Lando Norris. He had an average rookie season, scoring one win and two podiums on his way to finishing 10th in the championship. In 2016, Mick Schumacher stayed in the ADAC Formula 4 Championship, this time driving for what would become his long-term team, Prima. As a result of switching to a more competitive team, Mick Schumacher achieved 5 wins and 12 podiums on his way to finish 2nd in the championship. Mick Schumacher also competed in the Italian Formula 4 Championship, where he achieved 5 wins, 10 podiums and finished 2nd in the championship behind Marcos Saber. Mick Schumacher's first season in Formula 3 was relatively unsuccessful, only scoring one podium on his way to finishing 12th in the championship. In 2018, Mick Schumacher's true potential was finally realised, when in his second season of Formula 3, he was able to secure his first championship title, along the way scoring 8 wins and 14 podiums. In 2019, Mick Schumacher stepped up into Formula 2, again racing for Prima. In 2019, Mick Schumacher only scored one win in Formula 2, however it is a trend in his career that he gets stronger in a championship once he has experience with the car that he is driving. This was certainly the case when it came to his 2020 F2 season, as he scored two wins and ten podiums on the way to clinching the championship. It was then announced that he'd be driving for the Haas F1 team in 2021. In true Schumacher style, Mick is already dominating his teammate Nikita Mazepin, and not only that, he is outperforming his car, which is undeniably the slowest on the grid. For example, at the recent Spanish Grand Prix, Mick Schumacher qualified 18th, with a lap time of 1 minute 19.117. This was enough to outqualify the Williams of Nicholas Latifi, which is a much quicker car. After the overview of Mick Schumacher's career so far, here's why he has potential to dominate in F1. He is a member of the Ferrari Driver Academy, which were the team that helped his father, Michael Schumacher, to five of his seven Drivers' World titles. As part of the Driver Academy, he could be in line for a Ferrari seat, and I'm sure they will be keen to replicate the success they had with Michael Schumacher in the early 2000s. However, as Ferrari currently have a young driver lineup in Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, Mick Schumacher may have to wait a while to drive for them. 
Not only that, but it relies on Ferrari creating a car that's worthy of a world championship, which they haven't done since 2007. And it's no secret with Ferrari's recent performances that it may take some time for them to get back to the top. That's unless they've been focusing on the regulation change in 2022. Mick Schumacher is currently being managed by Nicholas Todd, son of ex-Ferrari team principal Jean Todd, who is currently working for the FIA. So Mick Schumacher will stay well connected with the inner workings of Formula One. Not only that, Mick Schumacher brings immense sponsorship potential to any F1 team, with his current deals with Under Armour, Richard Mill and Sky Sports Germany. Another way Mick Schumacher could secure dominance in Formula 1 is if he makes use of the Schumacher-Mercedes link. Before Michael Schumacher's comeback to Formula 1 in 2010 with Mercedes, the manufacturer had previously funded his F1 debut at Spa in 1991 with Jordan. And it is no secret that Mercedes will be looking for two younger drivers, as both Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas are now well into their 30s. As Mercedes is a German team, I'm sure they'd like to have a German driver in their car. Although Mick Schumacher is part of the Ferrari Driver Academy, it is common for drivers to leave their respective driver programs if a better opportunity comes their way. A recent example of this is when Carlos Sainz moved to McLaren. Whether Mick Schumacher can be dominant or not depends whether he gets a move to a big team, and that all depends on the careers of other young drivers such as Lando Norris, Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen and George Russell. It is undeniable that Mick Schumacher has got the genetics to succeed in Formula 1, or will it be a poison chalice like so many other drivers that we've seen before? Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and if you have then please like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video.